Hello and welcome. Today we'll be talking about the CyberTool light module on the 91mm platform of the Swiss Army Knives. This light module has gone through several upgrades throughout the years. It began its production run with the first light module, that's the L-I-T-E spelling, of the 91mm platform back in 2002. Some of the first models we have here are the Huntsman Light and the CyberTool Light, which houses the newer or rather the older light modules and we'll go over the differences of each light modules there's three different types of light modules that i could find when buying these new and used here on the left we have the cyber tool light with the older module i bought this brand new off of ebay last year and it comes with this older housing unit and uses two cr 1225 batteries and the older housing units have this little hook here in the back and not that you can really see it on the camera, but inside there is a small little metal portion built into the knife here to catch that latch, that hook, so it clicks into place. All the light modules have a momentary on, and they also have a constant on as well. The CyberTool light is one of the few models that actually has an inline Phillips head that goes in line with the light facing the correct direction. So when you use it for screwing small screws, you can see through the hole with your screwdriver. Most models do not have that orientation. So that is the CyberTool light there. We're not going to go over into all the tools on it, just talking about the specified light modules here. Next up is the Huntsman light. This is one of the first earlier model versions about 2005 or so according to the tang stamp on the main blade once again we have the older light module here with the hook inside and inside here if we move the phillips head screwdriver out there is a metal piece there in the scales that will or rather inside the layer that clicks into place once we push this down to keep it from moving out even though there is a lot more resistance still with this going up and down so it won't accidentally come out and once again, if you notice, the Phillips head screwdriver is not in necessarily in the same direction pointing as the light. And once again, we have a constant on and a momentary on as well for this module. It's the same exact module that you find in the first generation LED modules. Next up is the Huntsman light. This is the version 2 LED module. And if we turn this out, if you notice, instead of the hook being at the end, we have the smoother tail end and if we push this in there's no more bar there metal piece of bar to catch that latch if we push this in it clicks into place automatically and it's got some force going down to that spot much like a magnet would be to capture an element but there is no magnet in there it's just based on the spring tension so they managed to do away with the latch in the upgraded module. However, that is the only upgrade they've done. It still uses two CR1225 batteries. Same type of LED, not as bright as the newest one. And it has a constant on and a momentary on. Last but not least, we have the newest iteration of the LITE module, the light module. And this is also based on that upgraded housing, which we can see has a smoother back end. And we can finally see the CR1225 batteries here. And it still clicks into place on the scale or inside the layer. And this LED is considerably brighter and also a different temperature compared to any of the older LED modules. If we take these two together, we can see in the camera, one is a little bit warmer, one's a little bit cooler. And this one's a little bit brighter. We'll measure the brightness in a moment here, but those are the different types of light LED modules. We have a 2002 version, and then sometime around 2005 on up to about 2019, that's when they had the second iteration of the gray module. And then from 2019, from when I could research online, is when they upgraded it to a clear housing here. So let's go ahead and get some beam shots of these different LED modules and measure the LUX and CCT and CRI output. Okay, we're back shooting in Napster 
24 frames per second, ISO's 2500 with a white balance of 5000K on a Panasonic GH2 14-42mm to 42 millimeter lens. Here on the table we have the Oppo Light Master Pro and we also have my phone measuring all the data. Let's go ahead and grab the first generation of the LED modules and try that out. We have the Huntsman light here and we're just going to hold it about maybe roughly 10 inches above the light meter here. And as we can see, it's got a lux of about 108 and CCT is saying something a little bit off wonky, but it's about 10,600, about 9,996. So it's not exactly reading the actual, well, it's really giving me a funky reading basically for the color temperature and the CR rating is about 85. Point one or so and let's switch this over to the BBL chart so this is on the redder side of tint also blue instead of the green side so that's interesting to note let's bring this back to the front here and we're stabilizing at about 85 86 lux or so at this height let's go ahead and turn this off and do the second iteration of the gray LED modules and these all should have approximately the same battery. And we're getting just about around the same amount of output at about 107, 106 lux. It's going to settle here in a moment. And we're looking at about 8100 CCT and also 86, 87 CRI. Yep, about the same exact brightness level and also same plot on our graph of the BBL. More on the redder orange or tint as opposed to the yellow let's go ahead and do the newer model newest one that is the third generation here and this is shooting at about 600 and 600 lux or so 583 five it's starting to settle here and the cct is about 4900 5000 temperature rating so it's about neutral white temperature rating and the CRI is a little bit less at 78 also and the Lux is starting to settle at about 360 370 ish approximately it's also the way I'm holding the uh, actual light here too so it does affect that a little bit let's go ahead and check out our BBL so this is more in the center towards instead of on the left side edge which is cooler blue it's more towards the yellow hint and the red tint instead of the green side all these LEDs are not on the green side, it's on the red and yellow side, which is kind of interesting. And we're finally settling down to about 299, 300 lux. This is after light's been on for a while, so as we can tell, this is about roughly a third, two-thirds brighter. And they're all using the same battery, so... Yep. Okay. So as we can see with our tests the brightness levels are roughly close and here is a side profile of each one we have the in order we have the oldest one on the left here and we have the newest or the second oldest in the center and the newest on the right here for the beam profile let's go ahead and turn these off and show the beam shot of the oldest model here as you can see, it's just a soft spill out here. There's no real focus, no real... There's kind of a hot spot in the middle, but it's nothing... It's more of a diffuse beam, basically. And we're only about roughly a foot off the table here at this point. Let's go ahead and turn that off and get the second generation one here. And again, it might be a slight bit brighter, but not by much. It's about the same brightness level and also the same diffusion pattern here same beam pattern as well as the first generation module let's go ahead and try the newest model the 2019 version so it's fairly brighter at about two-thirds brighter approximately and also a neutral more neutral tone color about a 5000 temperature rating i would guess that the previous model since it didn't really register too well on the meter is much more bluer than this here and the beam pattern seems to be the same since they're both the same type of model. It's all diffused. There's no real hot spot. 
And that is our test for the different LED modules in the Huntsman light variants. We have the oldest again on the left, the second oldest in the middle, and the newest on the right here. So when you're going out to buy different models on eBay or on stores, you can ask them for pictures of the actual LED module. And based on those pictures, you can tell if you're getting very old stock, second kind of old stock, or, or new stock type of LED light modules. The clear ones are the best ones that we have so far and the most up-to-date ones. And that's all I have to say about the light modules on the 91mm platform Swiss Army Knives. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy.